Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to write word problems in slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where our m here stands for the slope. The other term for slope is the growth factor. So the question would be, how much does it grow by? Okay, and then the b here is the y-intercept, or otherwise called the starting value or the initial value, or pretty much like this is the value of y when x is zero. So that is the y-intercept. Now let's take this first example here. A 2.5 feet plant grows at a rate of 0 0.5 foot per month. Write the equation of the form y equals mx plus b. Again, this y equals mx plus b form is the slope-intercept form, where y is the height of the plant and x is the month. So first, we are going to determine what the m is and what the b is. So in this problem here, we say that the m is the growth factor. So we can go ahead and say that the growth rate of the plant is this one right here. So that would be 0 0.5. So we can assign that as our m. So our m is 0 0.5. Now, the starting value or the initial value of the plant here is 2.5. So that would be 2.5. So from here, we can go ahead and write the equation as y equals our m is 0 0.5. And then we put an X and our B is 2.5. So that would be plus 2.5. So pretty much in order that we can write the um, slope intercept form of a given word problem, we only need to change the M. So we need to determine what the M is and we need to determine what the B is. So from this equation that we have here, it says in the problem that how high is the tree after six months? Now we are going to determine what are we looking for? I, there are two variables that are uh, present in here. So our y and the x here. So but then the thing is, are we looking for the y or are, are we looking for the x? So looking at this um, problem that we have here, y is the height of the plant and x is the month. So from here, we can go ahead and say that we, if, if the problem is asking us of the height of the plant, how high, so that means we are looking for y. So then our y is missing. So that's the missing part. And then it says that the x is the month. So that means this 6 that we have here is our x value. So once we have already determined what the uh, what is missing and what is given to us, we are going to plug it into the equation that we solved on this part right here. So then we can go ahead and plug this um, uh, value in, which is uh, 6 for the x. So we can go ahead and say y is equal to, which is y is the missing, and then that is 0 0.5 parentheses plus 2.5. And then our x again is 6. So I'm going to put the 6 in here. So then we can go ahead and simplify this. So 0 0.5 times 6 is 3 plus 2.5. So then our y, which is the height of the plant, is actually 5.5 feet. So this is the height of the plant after um, 6 months. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So an empty tank is filled with water which flows into the tank at a rate of 6 gallons per minute. Write the equation in slope-intercept form where y is the volume of the water in gallons and x is the number of minutes. So we're going to determine the m and the b. So let's have the m first. So m is the growth factor. So in here we have 6 gallons per minute. So that means for every minute then there are six gallons that are put into the tank. So that would be six gallons that we have here. So we can have M6. And then the B is the starting value or the initial value inside the tank. It says that it's empty. So we can go ahead and say that the B is zero. And then from here, we can go ahead and write the equation in Y equals MX plus B. Again, we only need to change the M and the B. So then our equation here would be y is equal to 6x and then plus 0 and we don't need to write the 0. So this is our um, equation for this word problem. 
Now, what are we gonna do is we solve the second problem right here. How many gallons of water inside the tank after four minutes? So we're going to determine, again, there are two variables, X and Y. We are going to determine which of these variable, is it X or Y that we wanted to know? And what is this for? Do we put it into the Y or do we put it into the X? So we can go back to the problem right here. It says that Y is the volume of water. So it says here, how many gallons of water? So what are we looking for? If we say gallons of water, that's actually Y that we are looking for. So we're looking for Y. And then this four minutes that we have here is representing, because it says X is the number of minutes, so this is our X value. So we are given an X, which is four, we wanna solve for Y. So what are we gonna do is we use this equation that we got there to solve for the uh, number of gallons after four minutes. So that would be Y is equal to six, then parentheses. The one that we put into the parentheses is the X, which is four. So I put in four right here. So then we can go ahead and say um, six times four would be 24. So Y is actually 24 gallons. So I'm gonna write 24 um, gallons here. And it makes sense because um, looking at the problem right here, it says that for every minute per minute means for every one minute, it can f it can have six gallons to be put in there. So in the first minute, you get six. In the second minute, you got 12. In the third minute, you got 18. And in the fourth minute, you got 24 gallons. And that makes sense. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the third problem right here. In order to rent a bike, Joy has to pay $5 registration fee and is charged $2 an hour. Write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, which is otherwise called as the slope intercept form, where our y here is the total cost and x is the number of hours. Now what are we going to do is we determine again the m and the b. So our m here is the growth factor or the growth rate or the slope. So in this case, prob in this case that we have here, we have $2 an hour, so this is our growth rate. So that would be two, and our starting value is the money that he needs to pay up front, which is five. So if we write this in an equation form um, of uh, y equals mx plus b or slope intercept form, this would be y is equal to, again, we only need to change the m and the b. So that is two x, plus five. So this is our equation. So this is our equation right here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna solve this uh, problem that's written down below. How many hours does it take for the total cost to be $25? So again, we go back to the definition that we have set up here in the problem. Our Y is the total cost and the X is the number of hours. So we're asking for how many hours. So that represents the X, the number of hours. So the X is missing here. And then um, that it takes so that the total cost is $25. And it says here that our Y is the total cost. So this 25 is actually our Y. So what are we gonna do now is we use the equation that we got from here and then we plug these values into the equation. So we can solve for Y is, again, the equation is Y equals 2X plus five. Our Y is 25, so I plug it in here. So 25 is equal to 2X, which is missing, plus five. So then we want um, X by itself. So we're gonna subtract five and subtract five. So then we are left with 2X is equal to 20. So then um, we're gonna solve for X by dividing two from both sides, divide this by two. So then we are left with X is equal to, so I'm just gonna write it over here. So X is equal to 20 divided by two is 10, and that is, we're asking for hours, so that's gonna be 10 hours. What does it mean? In 10 hours, Joy is charged with $25 for renting the bike. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. 
perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!